he could be a good president is Tucker Carlson, the next Donald Trump. He entered to rapturous applause, flattered his hosts shamelessly, told them about his political vision, and sold them merchandise bearing his name. Tucker Carlson's appearance in Iowa on Friday looked like a presidential run, walked like a presidential run and quacked like a presidential run, but was most certainly not a presidential run, at least as far as anyone knows. The Fox News host was the keynote speaker at the Family Leadership Summit. A gathering of more than 1,800 religious conservatives in Des Moines, Iowa, which every four years is the first state to have a say in picking the Republican presidential nominee. It was at the same forum in the same state seven years ago that businessman and reality TV star Donald Trump told the audience that Senator John McCain, a former prisoner of war in Vietnam, was not a war hero, instantly dooming his candidacy, or so everyone thought. Carlson, 53, another political neophyte and media celebrity, has been touted as a potential Trump heir who might launch a bid for the White House by stoking the same flames of populism. White identity politics and hunger for a man who says what he thinks, the more outrageous the better. The New York Times has described Tucker Carlson tonight on Fox News as what may be the most racist show in the history of cable news. It is also the most highly rated in prime time. Carlson describes white supremacy as a hoax, but has become a prominent conduit for its talking points. Suggesting that diversity is America's biggest existential threat. He has notoriously promoted the far-right Great Replacement theory, which holds that Western elites are importing immigrant voters to usurp white people. Yet while he has embraced the nativist and liberal taunting strains of the Make America Great Again movement, Carlson had been careful to keep some daylight between himself and Trump, leading some to speculate that he is carving out his own lane. He could be a good president for sure, said Kent Proudfit, 70 attending Friday's Family Leadership Summit. I don't know if he would run, but he's pretty popular. He's got the biggest cable show in America right now. I'd definitely vote for him. Proudfit, a retired hospital courier driver wearing a Trump 2024 revenge tour cap that he got for free, said he was untroubled by Carlson's lack of political experience. You don't always need to have somebody that's a politician, maybe somebody that's in business, just like Trump was. Proudfit said. We need a businessman, and he's done pretty good in business, so that's where I would lean.